how on earth am I going to get this software? If you don't have this software, you can get a, a free trial at Autodesk's uh, webpage. I'm going to put in a link below. Or if you're a student, you can get the entire software, not a trial, not a 30-day trial, but you can get the entire uh, software for free if you're a student. Uh, you have to select your school and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so anybody can do this. Anybody that wants to try, anybody that just wants to get into to 3D modeling, is uh, it's it's a nice way to to enter. Now this software is probably the most popular software uh, in uh, in the 3D industry. It's probably the most used. I I, I can't think of the others being just as popular. Although there is Maya and there is XSI and Softimage. And, and stuff like that, but this one is is the one that I've learned and it's one that I've fallen in love with. I, I have used the other ones. I know how to use most of them, but this one is the one I use the most and, and, and one that's called Mudbox. Getting a little dry mouth here. Gonna have some water. Cotton mouth. <laughs> so now that we have looking at our axe, do we like it? Mm, yeah, it, it could use some more detail, and I sort of want to have an, an asymmetrical axe. I don't want it to be completely symmetrical. So uh, let, let's add some some detail to to the head right here. We're going to click on the edge tool, select these edges, click ring, click connect, <gasps> and we get twelve edges. We don't want twelve. We want a one. And we want to slide them apart. You're gonna you're gonna get to see why I do this later on. We're gonna slide them apart like so. That's uh, that's probably a little too shallow. Oh, um, like so, yeah. And we're gonna do the same here. Ring, but this time we're gonna have oh, connect two edges. We're gonna take slide away, and we're gonna use something called pinch. Now pinch works just the way a slide works sort of. It works the way that scale works. As you can see, I could push them apart or pinch them together. So what I want to do is push them apart and get sort of an equal thickness here as I have there. It's not the same, not quite the same, but sort of the same. It's not all that important. Since this is a low poly object, you won't really notice the change that much. Now I'm going to click accept here. And uh, remember, you only need to work on one side because you can always symmetry. And yeah, you see that some of the edges get a little off and some things are not the way we want it. So we're going to go into vertex mode. And we're going to just start editing manually. Uh, I press W to bring up the move tool. Whoop. To bring up the move tool without clicking up in the corner right there. And just sort of. edit the model until till the point where you think it's nice. Now I want a little bit more curve curve to it. Looking for a little bit more curve. Like so. Yeah that's 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 nicer. I like that. Now the thing that I want to do here is just make sure that these corners are equally distant. You're gonna see why later. Yeah, I, I like that. Now we're gonna go back out to uh, perspective view and we're gonna uh, zoom in on our headpiece and we're gonna select these polygons. And we're gonna bevel them in a little bit. Now you may want to bevel it out you may want to do that. That could be cool. I've thought of that, but I've decided to bevel them in. I feel that the, the bevel out could sort of stop the axe from rending the flesh of somebody important. <laughs> like so, huh? That's what I like. I want to be like that, so that's that's my choice. Now, we don't want to do this on both sides, so we just go down here on the modifiers list click on symmetry, click flip, 
to flip the axis like this choose to switch side you want a symmetry and I want to make an asymmetrical axe now some people wonder what the fuck is asymmetrical well if you had some math before you l learned that uh, asymmetrical is a shape that is not symmetrical. Symmetrical is a shape that is mirrored along an axis and asymmetrical is not. So I'm going to select one side and I want to scale it big. Now as you can see here something went wrong. You know why? Because I didn't look in the perspective view if I had selected all the edges and I didn't and I hadn't selected these. So I'm going to select these make sure that all the edges I want is selected including these yes good so I'm gonna go back into the top view and I'm going to scale this out to make it bigger and I'm gonna scale it this way to make it bigger like that well that turned out to be a really big X you know what I want it to be big like so I'm gonna move it a little bit out and I'm going to select the edges and the connection point here and I'm going to connect them and I'm going to scale them in. This is to make this sort of transition a little bit better. Like so. Now, if you like this video, remember to rate comment and subscribe and there will be more videos coming I'm going to show you how to detail this axe maybe I'm not detailing this axe maybe I'm detailing another axe but I'm going to show you how to make a detailed model and I'm going to show you how to make a turbo smoothed model that you can just take to the extremes of poly modeling but this is just a, a simple version and this is probably going to be the end of the tutorial I'm going to uh, show you the other axis that I made. <laughs> I can probably just uh, save this as uh, tutorial axe 3. Save it. And then I can merge. Import merge one of the other axes or even both see here comes one this is like the second one I made and it, it looks it looks pretty similar it's a little smaller and here's the first one that I made oh now that I tried to open it uh, you're gonna have to click on import and merge Wait a minute, what happened there? Hmm. It didn't merge, that was weird. Tutorial X, open, select the box, click OK. Rename it something weird. Merge it. And you see, this one was even smaller. Go out of that mode. So, so the axe will just grow as as I made more and more versions of it. But yeah, that is an easy way to make an axe. And uh, if you have any questions, any whatsoever, leave a comment or even a video response and I will answer you as fast as I possibly can. It can be any kind of any kind of question about the software, about how you get it, to where you get it about what I do, about how I do it, anything. You can even leave a video response and I even and I might even respond with a video. So uh yeah. That was the uh quick tutorial on basics of poly modeling. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.